Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Hibernate 6 framework, uh, we are let us discuss today about how to generate the primary keys using annotations. Before we discuss this generating primary keys, let us just recap the previous class, previous video, where we have created a Pojo class employee with the primary key employee id with the property employee id and with the employee name and employee salary as the properties and set as in getter methods and we have used just the basic annotations in the last video where this annotation at the rate entity is used to mark your class as the entity class so it is going to map our class with a database table and at the rate id is used to mark this property employee id as the primary key and if the name of the table if the mapping table is different if the table name what we want to use here should be a different name means we have to use the annotation at the rate table and we are giving the name of the table as employee info and to change the column names we map here at the rate column the name of the column emp underscore name now once we run this application we are already having a table select a star from employee info this is the name of the table what we are mapping and we are having one record in the table now today let us move to the next one how to go with the primary case and uh, we have even created the test the test class here like uh, com dot hibernate 6 and this employee test where we are getting the session factory open session begin then transaction create object of project class set the values and persist your object into the table like this one has created the table for us this employee info table with this record into the table now today in this video let us understand how to generate the primary keys the meaning of primary key is like a primary key is unique and use it to identify a row use it to identify a record uniquely Generally, we mark primary keys like employee numbers, role numbers, hall ticket numbers, then customer number, product ID, account number like this. These things we mark it as the primary keys, mainly use it to identify the record uniquely. Now, how to generate this primary keys using Hibernate is by, by using a annotation at the rate generated value annotation is used for the primary key generation. And we can generate by using this two ways generation type dot auto and generation type dot identity. Now let us understand how to make use of this auto and identity with the example code. Let us go back to this program. And in order to generate the primary key, we have to use the annotation above the primary key like this at the rate generated value annotation we make use and we say strategy equal to generation type generation type dot auto we are using the generation type as part here auto import the package for this generated value it belongs to the package jakarta dot persistent dot generation generated value and this one generation type we have imported the packages now coming to the test class here we are having this employee test where we are getting the session factory open session begin the transaction create object of employee now let me not give this primary key now so we are not setting the value for your employee id we are just giving the value for your name and salary and we are persisting our object now before we run this code let us delete this table, drop table, employee info. We are deleting the table, employee info before we run our application. Now, let us come back to our test class, run this program, right click and say run as Java application. Now see, it is creating the table for us and inserting the record. And if you check your database table now, 
record select star from employee info see the record has been created and see what what is the primary key value it is generating see it is giving employee id as one year now let us run the code again let us come back to the program and let us change the value the name ramu and salary 6000 now let us run the code again so it's updating the records and if you check your table select start from employee info see it has added one more new record with the employee id one sorry two with the name rama and salary 6000 now let us add one more record let us run the code now check the table select start from employee info and see it is creating the employee id with what value 52 so we cannot expect what values it's going to generate for the primary case and one more point over here when you see here show tables when we use the command show tables see a sequence has been created here it has created one sequence employee info underscore sequence a new sequence will be created here see here select star from employee info sequence see here the next generated value will be 151 this will be the next primary key generation so a sequence table will be created when we make use of this generation type dot auto and what is the name of the sequence it is creating employee info underscore suq it will take the name of the table employee info and appends underscore suq now I want to generate our own sequence. We want to go with what? Our own sequence. Let me drop this sequence now. Drop table. Employee info underscore sequence. Now see, if you say here show tables, we are not having the sequence table here. We are having only two tables, employee info and student info. Now, let us come back to the program. Let us come back to the program and let us even delete this employee info also let us delete this drop table employee info and see when we say show tables we are having only one table student info now let us come back to the program and let us generate the sequence table here how to generate here is just say statutory generation type dot auto comma generator equal to emp id underscore generator i'm giving the name of the sequence table as emp id underscore generator now see when we run our application so i'm just setting the name and salary here and now when we run the application now see if you Go with the table, select a star from employee info. This is the name of the table where it has added the record into the table with the primary key one. And see if you say show tables, show tables. See, it has created the name of the sequence table as emp id underscore generator, right. Let me delete this. Drop table. Employee info. Drop table. EMP ID underscore generator. I am deleting both the tables. Now. Now, the next thing is, what are the sequence? What are the sequence it is generating? That primary key is generating it is not in order like it's generated like 1, 2, 51, 151 like that it's going. I want to go with a sequence like 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Then in that case, we have to use one more annotation here called as at the rate sequence generator. Sequence generator. The name of the generator we are saying EMP ID underscore generator. And initial value. Initial value we are going with one 
allocation size allocation size we are giving it as one year import the package for sequence generator now let us come back to the program and let us run the code now so we are having we have created object we are not giving employee id value we are just setting the name and salary we are persisting our object now let us run this code now see when we check the table select star from employee info see it has given the primary key as one now now see here even you can see show tables the sequence table has been created what is the name emp id underscore generator now if you say here select a star from emp id underscore generator see what is the next value the next primary key value will be two year when you insert a new record now let us come back to the program and let us insert one record here with the name raj and salary sum 10000 now when we run this piece of code so it's altering the table and updating the record and if you check your table now select star from employee info see the name the employee ID value now see two and when we say select star from emp id underscore generator see the next primary key value will be three here it will be sequence check it here let us go with the name ramu and some fifteen thousand salary now if you run See, it's updating our record. And if you check our table, let's start from my employee info. See, the name, the ID value will be now 3. And if you see here, select start from EMP ID underscore generator. See, the next primary key value will be 4 here. So, whenever we want to go with the primary key in the form of sequences, here we go with this annotation at the rate sequence generator. And the name EMP ID underscore generator, initial value is 1, allocation size 1. If you give allocation size as to the primary key values will be 1, 3, 5, 7, like that. It goes like that. Right? So that's about generation type dot auto. Now let us move to the next one. That is identity. We are having what? One more generation type dot identity. Let us see about that. So before we go to this identity, let us drop our table employee info and one more the sequence table employee id underscore generator now let us understand about the generation type dot auto so here just we have to use sorry this identity we have seen about auto now let us go with identity let us remove this we will see generation type dot identity and sixty sequence generate is not required. Now let us come back to the test class and let us insert the record. Now I'm going with the name as Rama and salary fifteen thousand. We are inserting the record. So it's creating the table and check the table now. Select the star from employee info. See it has inserted record with primary key but now check one more point show tables see it is not creating any sequence table here in the case of identity the sequence table will not get created only when we go with this generation type dot auto then only the sequence table will be created in the case of identity the sequence table will not get created let us insert one more record let us insert one more record now see the values in the table select start from employee info see the employee id is one sorry two year one two then one more record now see the table the primary key generation so when we go with identity when we make use of identity so then structure generation type dot identity so the generation values will be what here? 1, 2, 3, 4, like that it goes on. Okay, it will be in the form of sequence only. So that's about the 
generation of primary keys we have seen two times generation type dot auto generation type dot entity identity what is the difference in the case of auto the sequence table will be created in the case of identity the sequence table will not get created so this is the main difference between auto and identity right so that's about in this video in the next video we'll be adding some more new concepts related to hibernate 6 thank you please subscribe like and share